All right, so I've seen that some people have had issues with getting started with System.io and building their first landing page, collecting email addresses so that they can start generating some income and build that email list. So we will go through baby steps, step by step to get everything up and running so that you can start for yourself. So we'll begin by going to the funnels. Just click funnels and click create and we'll give our funnel a name. So let's say that you have a lead magnet that you want to give someone in exchange for their email address, which is a ebook. So we'll name our funnel our ebook funnel. And this is the funnel domain. And I have a custom domain set up for my System.io account. And if you stay to the end of this video, I will show you how and where to set this up. But for now, we will click build on audience because we want to collect an email address and build our list, right? We want to make this work and we'll click create. This will take us into our funnel. And as you can see, it will automatically set us up with a two step funnel. We have our squeeze page or our landing page. And when this is filled out and done, it will take us to the thank you page. And as you can see, it has two uh, triangular marks that says that it's not set up. So we'll make sure to do that right now. So for our squeeze page, we'll choose a template that we like that might work for our needs. And we'll choose one that has a form already visible and inside so that we can get started right away. Let's pick uh, this, for example, select. Oh, and this is not some uh, pre-recorded footage or something. I'm just doing this on the fly. So if I make any mistakes, <laughs> you will see. Anyways, this is the landing page and we can give our landing page a name and this will be, uh, yeah, the landing page. So landing page opt-in, right? Because here is where they will opt-in to our email list and the URL path, which you can customize the last bit so that it looks great. We can give it a name like uh, free ebook, something like that. We click save. And as you can see, this value is not valid because you can't just have a uh, empty space, but we can have something like this, this or something like underscore that works as well, or just a dash a free ebook save and now you can click the eyeball to see how it looks in real life and now this is actually live this is already published you're already rolling so nothing more to do with this to be honest and as you can see it wants an email and if you just type something in and try to go to the next step it won't let us because it wants a valid email address at least to go to the next step but before we do that, we will configure. And I think most problems that people run into when it comes to collecting emails is either with the form or the button. So we'll check out both. So we'll go to the wand to edit the page. And we can just exchange the, uh, the image to something that is ours, our lead magnet. So just by clicking it once and going into the options over here and clicking this little upload sign to upload your own file or take a mock-up of something that you already have for a book. I have one, for example, which is this. And here you can also adjust the image size, right? And also where the whole thing is appearing. So you can adjust margins to move this down and up and just make this as nice and the way you want it to. So 95 pixels would be great. So I think here is where most people run into trouble. It's either with the form input or the button. So the form input first, click on the form input, the orange little selecting thing here like that. And here you have input type email. If this is not an email, if it's something else like a first name or zip code or phone number, then it might be that it won't collect the email properly. But if we take first name, for example, it will complain that it has no email to collect because this is an email collections uh, page, right? A landing page. So 
If I select the input type as a first name, click save, it will complain that we need at least one field that is email input, right? So if you want, you can have a first name if you want to collect a name. And we can go with the back uh, arrow here to the elements. Just scroll down and drag in another input form. Or you can just duplicate this one for ease of use. You have a little uh, duplicate sign here if you click that. As you can see very beautifully, it duplicated this. But now we have two form inputs, which is the same. So we will collect a first name. We'll change this form by clicking the orange little form input and changing that to an email. Bam. Save this by clicking Save Changes. And now we can preview with the eyeball to see how it looks. And clicking the download now, nothing happens, right? And it wants us to enter something. Otherwise, it's, nothing will happen. So that is one step OK. Now we need to look at the button. What will happen after they have entered something in these fields? You will click the button. And here you will have action when button clicked, send form. And this is the second problem I think people have. If they drag in a button from start, it might not have send form as selected action for it. It might be like open URL or just a next step URL. Then of course it won't collect anything. If you just click it, it will go to the next page. So here you want always to have send form if you are collecting something. This will be look differently on the thank you page. If you want them to download something, then you won't have a send form. But for this, your landing page, your first page, send form, okay? What happens when you have collected these things and they have pushed the button? Then we go to the next step. So that's essentially everything you need. And here you even have double opt-in if you want, which means that they will get an email asking them to click a link to confirm their subscription to your email list before they even come to the next step. So our landing page is done. We'll click Save Changes and go out of this with Exit button. And as you can see, landing page done, no uh, exclamation mark here. So we'll configure our Thank You page. So we'll just, just click that and select one that looks okay or just make your own. We will not design stuff in this tutorial, just step-by-step step get this working now, right? So select uh, this template, for example. Uh, give it a name, like thank you. That would be perfect. Click save. I did not click save, for example. I clicked uh, the eyeball. So click save first, just to save everything. And here it will say a funnel step with the same path already exists. So we need to just type something else. Thank you. Save. Great. Now we can view it. And here it is. Now, if we go and edit this thank you page, here is where you will set up the free gift that you have for anyone that comes in to your uh, email list. So you will click the button and here you will see open URL, right? We need to define a URL or you can show something else or take them to the next step. But this is essentially what you do. So. Uh, pretty straightforward. If you have your file on a Dropbox or a Google Drive or on your WordPress hosting, you can have the URL here and it will start downloading the lead magnet, the ebook for them. Click Save and just go out of this. And now you should have a working, working basic funnel to collect emails. So just go back to the landing page and just check once again. And we will. Uh, test this out live. So go view funnel step. This is our landing page. Someone just wants to your stuff won't work, right? It complains. But if they put in like temp email, temp email test, let me just uh, try something at hotmail.com with a name, Chris. 
download now voila we came to our thank you page it works and just to confirm that we received the email address we go into contacts contacts and there you have it temp email test at hotmail.com with which we just inserted is inside of our database as a contact so it works nothing out of the ordinary and that's it so one last step i want to show you where to configure the custom domain you will go into this little guy over here which will be your account and settings and inside the settings will go to custom domains and here as you can see i have already set up two different custom domains that i can pick from and if you want to add a domain you just need to follow the oh i can have just two domains for my plan which is the entry plan the basic plan or whatever it's called but it's enough but here you have show instructions on how to set this up step by step from system so you know how to set this up it can be a bit complicated because you need to go into your hosting account for your domain and set up the dns recorder so that it points to system for this to work but it's uh, beyond the scope of this video at least and if you have super big issues with this just uh, contact System.io's support and they will help you out with everything that you need when it comes to System. So it's much faster to go to support than to me on YouTube to get your issues resolved. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and you have a working landing page and collecting email addresses and achieving your goals. Thank you so much for watching.